Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. I'm actually filming a voiceover for this video instead of it being like a chatty studio vlog. So I do hope you enjoy this video, but I didn't have any footage from Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And then I didn't really know if I was gonna make much out of the vlog and I was gonna do just like music, but I thought I might try and narrate it instead. So I hope you like the video. Um, if you do wanna just play music, maybe you could mute me and put music on. Um, but this is me cutting one of the new collections it's called summer dreams um, and this week we also have new like fast food doodles which are so cute but I'll show you those a little bit later in the video I'm printing invoices on my Samsung laser printer I think this was the next day um, but I use this for invoices because toner is a lot cheaper and I only need to print them in black and white so that is why I use this printer and not my sticker inkjet printers and I also use it to print the Happy Now stickers that I stick on the front of the package. So now I am designing the freebies for the sale, which is so exciting. It is the five year anniversary sale coming up on the 11th. Um, so I was designing the tiered freebies for these and I needed 12 full boxes in total from the art that I was using. So it was easier for me to design the full boxes in isolation so that I knew they would all match. And then I can sort of take them from this like group of full boxes and distribute them amongst the freebies so that everything is like nice and cohesive and it just works a lot better this way. So here I am like manipulating the scene because there wasn't an outdoors scene but I really wanted to use the car so I took the like scene that was in the window of the indoor scene and just tried to like cover the cushions and everything that made it like not look like it was outdoors um, and because it is behind the car you kind of get away with it and you can't see where I've just like stuck bits together <laughs> but yeah I was really proud of how this worked um, it turned out really good I think so I'm just doing the full boxes and these are them completed and they look really cute I just love them it's like a farm kind of reading theme and these are the tiered freebies that are all complete ready to print So now I'm putting the extra girl boxes that come with a lot of collections into the kits. So normally there'll be multiple skin tone and hair options. So I print the extra ones and they just get included in all the kits as freebies. So you don't have to purchase them separately, they're just included. And I'm now I'm doing a stock count. So these were the new releases and I have like a pad where I write down how many I have of each so that when I do my listings it's a lot easier for me to just like reference the numbers rather than have to count them as I go. Um, now I'm putting the stock away, putting more stock away, those are the doodles and counting more stock. I'm literally just narrating it now, I don't know what to say, I should just stop talking. <laughs> So now we're moving on to packing orders, which is so fun. I love packing orders because I get to see like why everyone buys and you guys leave me the cutest notes and I just love it. It's so fun. It's like a way we can kind of engage and like interact with each other. Like you'll write me a note and I write you a note and it's just cute. So that's what I'm doing right now. And this is the Beach Babe collection. This is still on the old vinyl, so that will be replaced with paper soon. Um, the customer also bought the Grace weekly kit and they bought the chill mini kit which is on the vi on the old vinyl but will be replaced soon and they also got a selection i think of multicolor boxes so these are part of the functional range and you can get them i think in six or five different colors i've done them in like the seasonal colors so the spring summer winter and autumn um, and they're really good for like pairing with collections if you want to use them with a kit because the kits don't have them so this customer ordered the like cleaning duster doodles um, and the old format uh, sunset pumpkin kit which is the kits don't look like that anymore but that's an older one they also got the bloom collection i think this is my pr girl's order i think it was lose a lot's order so hi if, if it was your order um she also picked up the farmhouse collection the new york city collection and the grace collection so grace and new york city were um, new last week i think so I'm just putting on the labels on the envelopes and then moving on to another order. This is the Show Rats So Reusable album. They also picked up the July monthly, the Cat Cafe kit and the Chinese takeaway doodles. Um, because they purchased stickers 
and an album, I try and tape the stickers to a piece of grey board because the albums are packaged in like a recyclable padded mailer and I just like to give the stickers some like reinforcement with the grey board. So I use my new washi to do that. And this is my water dispenser tape activated... <laughs> tape... what? My water activated tape dispenser. <laughs> Oh, words fail me, but that's how it looks. It looks really cute. Brand your package is really nice. Um, this customer ordered loads of weekly kits, so I'm grabbing the glitter add-ons and putting them in the cello bags with each of the kits so it keeps them together. So they got Beach Babe, Chill, Farmhouse, Florence, I think. Yeah, Serenity, and finally Vampire Summer. Oh no, not finally. And... Uh, kit called Sweet Summer. <laughs> I really love that kit. And they also got the grocery multicolour doodles and the like house doodles. So this is me struggling to open the mailer but I do use these craft um, mailers for like larger orders because they're a little bit stronger and I feel like they protect the stickers more. Um, and this customer ordered an A5 notepad. I love these, they're so cute. It's actually the design from the three year anniversary collection. So these notepads are coming up to like two years old. I think they are timeless. <laughs> they, they still look really cute. I do love them. Um, and then this customer ordered the Planner Desk album with some stickers. And what am I doing now? Oh, these are the new multicolour doodles. They're so cute. There's 18 new sheets. So, oh, actually, only eight are multicolour, or like 10. And then the rest are fast food. And here's a fast food sampler I made. So cute. Now I'm doing orders. Oh, I was doing orders before. Now I'm doing like weighing the packages for labelling, which is not a catchy phrase at all. So I use my postage scale to weigh all the packages and then I can input the weights into click and drop to create the labels that have all the addresses on and then it can go to the customer and then that's done. So I really love this stage because it's like when everything is finished, you just have to match up the labels to the happy mail sticker which I spoke about earlier and then it makes it all easy and I can like sort them into the piles for the different weights and the different sizes of packages and I'm just rambling now. So now I'm just walking through the post office, got my little grey bags and my like tags and stuff all ready to be dropped off. I then took Ari on a little walk, so I got him to sit nicely for the vlog. <laughs> He's so cute. He does a big smile. Oh, such a happy boy. So then I started to work on the anniversary albums. So this is the anniversary collection artwork, and I wanted to do a reusable album, a small album, and a large album to like complete the collection. I really love doing albums that match because I think it's just so nice to have like a set of things. Like. I it's really pleasing when things match. So I'm making up the small album now. And the small album is the bedroom scene. And it's like the whole scene when you look at the album flat, but when you close it, you can just see like half of it, obviously. Um, and I just think it looks really nice. So this is the small album design. And then inside you've got 60 pockets and these fit four by six inch stickers. Then moving on to the large album, I called this album Sticker Kit because it literally has a sticker kit on the front and it is the size that fits sticker kits. So this album is 5.7 inches by 7.7 inches. And then the reusable album as well, just has one scene on the front and then a pattern on the back. And this is how they look together, like all three of them, as I said, like just love when things match. So I think it's a really cute collection. All of these will be releasing on Friday the 11th with the anniversary sale. So now that I've tested all of the albums and I'm happy with how they work, I'm mass producing and mass producing to me is like making about 20 of the reusable album covers and I laminate them first with cold laminate so it's kind of like sticky back plastic almost um, with my cold laminator like you can see here and it just gives it like a protective covering and I thought this would be a really cool clip but honestly it's really boring it's just me doing the same thing over and over and over and look, I rotated it because I was like let's add a bit of spice and it's still boring so <laughs> oh well but yeah this is basically what I did for about 20 minutes um, and then I had all the covers prepped so that I can cut them and stick them on the reusable albums. So 
so my next job for the day is to make dividers to store my doodles and I realise my laminator is like really old and has like a channel where the blade has cut through the plastic so maybe that's why it doesn't cut so well anymore who knows I mean it is a mystery to me still but I'm just trimming the card to size I do it first with the laminator and then I use my tab punch um, I've shown it before, it's from We Are Memory Keepers and here it is, it's a tab punch board and you use it to like create the tab shape. It is actually really hard work, you kind of have to give it some welly when you press it otherwise like it doesn't cut, so maybe mine's just blunt. But yeah, I do this because I much prefer it to cutting them out on the silhouette or by hand I guess, I don't know how else you would do it. But I just do loads of these, I had to do about 21 I think, that was how many I needed. And then you can use this other part of the tab board to like trim the extra bit off the tab. So I just did this and honestly it's so boring but I really don't enjoy doing these but it's, it's like the, the best solution I found really. So then I just feed them through the laminator, I get two per A4 sheet and then I just have to trim around them with scissors and they're finished basically. So I just have to write the screws on and then I can put my stock away. So to end the day, I thought I would try and organise my washi delivery because I honestly haven't touched it since I showed you guys in the vlog like last week. So I thought I would put like my extras to one side and then separate the ones that I'm definitely gonna like package and quality check for the sale. And then I tried to organise them by colour, but they just like roll away because they're rolls of washi, obviously. But I feel like I ended up just moving them around. I didn't actually organise very much, but I did try to put them in colour order at least. So it's a little bit closer than I was before. So that is the end of this week's studio vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a little bit different. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and I will see you next week for another proper studio vlog, hopefully. And also, it's the anniversary sale, so please check out all my social media for the information on that. But yeah, I hope you have a really good week, and I will see you soon. Bye!